Do people know what mental health is? Do people know what mental illness is? Every single one of you in here that's battling, every one of you that feels like you're alone, every one of you who feels like nobody understands you, how many of you relate to what I'm talking about? Raise your hand. There should be some kind of a system that talks about mental health problems in schools, like in lessons, just anywhere really. They're having to deal with a lot of very, very ill people rather than it being more about prevention. Youth mental health, it's the same story everywhere I go. I want to get to the root of it and to really figure out the why from the mouth and the stories of, of young people. I can sometimes feel a panic attack. Like I woke up this morning and I knew for a fact I was gonna have a panic attack. I'm taking this because I think if I look in my face, it'll calm me down. I don't even see myself live after high school. People need to hear the truth that most kids our age are not fine. I never saw myself represented anywhere. I felt like it was very invisible. Not only being a woman, but a black Muslim woman, I just thought that those problems were for everybody except people like me. I don't want other young people to feel the way I did growing up. Finally, I have a chance to fight the system. I think we need to start hearing from young people like myself when making policies related to somebody's mental health. There are so many things inherent to a space when you build it up properly that help people become more resilient and help people find community. When you make sure a space is safe, where you make sure that everybody feels welcome into a space, people feel like they can be themselves. I'm telling my story. It's literally making something painful inside beautiful. So sick of being unhappy because I'm so young and I feel like I need to be able to experience the world in a positive, healthy way. And I just wanted to be accepted for who I am and I just wanted to be loved. It took me five years to finally open up about my mental illness, but it wasn't as scary as I thought. It was one of the best things I've ever done. Young people have to know that even though at times they may feel that they're in the darkness, if they could just know just to hold on, that light is going to come over the horizon. The minute we start talking about mental illness, then people will not be ashamed. I just really hope the world could change. Hello, I'm Shakita Owens, licensed professional counselor and owner of Abundance of Hope Counseling. I am here with you today with the film director, the great Miss Naomi Wise, and she has produced an awesome film called Connecting the Dots. And this is a global conversation about youth mental health. And so today we're here to talk to you some about what Connecting the Dots is. Ms. Naomi, Ms. Naomi has also created a facilitator's guide, which I will be facilitating. And so we are coming to you today so that you can be able to host a screening for Connecting the Dots for your organizations that you may have. And so today we're just gonna to talk to Ms. Uh, Naomi um, about connecting the dots. So welcome Ms. Naomi, how are you doing today? Thank you, thank you Shakita for having me. A pleasure talking to you. Awesome. And so can you share with us a little bit about what connecting the, the dots is all about? We just watched this awesome trailer uh, that's been created, uh, and we saw the, the youth just sharing and pouring out. Um, can you just share with us a little bit more about uh, what the goals and the mission of Connecting the Dots is? Yes, yeah, sure, wonderful. Um, it's a global conversation, as you said, about youth mental health. Connecting the Dots is the first documentary that exclusively brings the voices of young people to the forefront. And we say um, that we don't talk about them without them. We need their stories to be able to know what needs to change. And the film uh, travels through different parts of the world um, where young people are sharing their story about their lived experience and about also what needs to change in the system to have a healthier society. So the mission of the film really is to continue to unite the voices to consider the film as a tool to open up the conversation, to inspire, to inspire people to take action and, and to inspire that conversation that sometimes is so difficult to have about mental health. 
I think that for young people themselves, when seeing other young people uh, sharing their story, um, it gives them hope that they can also open up and share their story. It inspires them to not think that they are alone because there's other people that are feeling the same as they are feeling. Um, so the whole idea of, of, of bringing this, this global conversation about youth mental health is to be able to talk to people in the educational world, people that are in the mental health profession, uh, mm -hmm. people that are dealing with youth, uh, parents, um, people that are dealing with peer-to-peer -peer support, and, and as well, community at large. I think that when we talk about uh, youth mental health, nobody's exempt. And uh, it's all up to all of us to, to, to be together and, and see what we can do and listen to the young people in the film that are extremely eloquent and, and they really know what needs to change. So if we can bring them into the conversation, I think that's the idea. And, and discussing now with you, Shikita, knowing that you as a professional, um, are, is go you're going to be facilitating conversations for any of the groups that are interested in hosting a screening. I think it's a wonderful way of saying, in, let's create a safe space when someone who is a professional will be able to address the different topics that need to be dealt and that are dealt in the film. Um, and open up the conversation. So that's that's the whole idea. Let's talk about it. Yes, that is awesome. Thank you so much. And can you just share, because um, some people may be thinking, I heard you say schools, I heard you say, um, you know, of those type of organizations. What organizations um, have you already? Can you just share some that you've already, uh, that have already hosted screenings for Connecting the Dots? Yes, um, we've been doing a lot of community screenings. We call them community screenings because um, it is a community, no matter how small or big it is. Even if we think about a family, that's the first community, uh, you know, that's the first nucleus of society. So we had screenings already with very many schools. Um, in the school settings, there's been uh, initiatives from, um, the principal and the school administrators to do um, professional development and the screenings were done directly to the teachers using the film as the start of a conversation. Now that we have partnered with UNICEF uh, to create a facilitator's guide, the facilitator's guide are addressing every single target group. In this case, you know, when we talk about schools, is uh, professional development for the teachers and then bringing that film to the students themselves. Um, I think that it's very important to understand that the teachers as well need to be prepared before they mm -hmm. will share the film and open up a conversation about mental health. Not every school has a school counselor, not every school has a psychologist on staff, and, and it's important that everybody is prepared and addressing the issues properly to be able to facilitate that guidance and also to be able to, um, you know, help the young people in the audience, the students that will come up with questions or that would need to be addressed. Awesome. Awesome. So I am so excited. I'm so excited to be partnering with you on this venture. And I think that definitely this will be helpful, um, even in my field for professional counselors um, as well to be able to facilitate connecting the dots. And I think that um, for anyone that is watching, whether you be um, in the church or you know in a school organization, and I think uh, we've even done hospitals. Um, so no matter what uh, area where you are working um, or where, like she said, a community, a community of people um, where youth are, and they can get this information to be able to not only just help themselves, but be able to help a friend, because we know that our youth talk amongst each other. And so just to be able to help each other um, through conversation and establishing that. And I know that over the summer and since we've been in the pandemic, we've had uh, an increased rate of suicide with our teens. And so, um, 
I'm just grateful uh, for you, Ms. Naomi, for even coming up with this whole idea and creating this documentary um, to get our families and our youth involved. And so for someone um, that's interested in scheduling a screening, I'm gonna let you share with, um, with how they will go about doing that. Thank you. And, and just to address what you were saying, Shikita, you know, we had screenings with hospitals um, that had used the film in their family division with their, as a professional development that we already can see the implementation of changes. Uh, they have shared with us that since they have seen the film and had several conversations afterwards, they are now bringing young people to the different departments to be able to train them and to have them be part of that change and support. Uh, the same with schools. We had uh, one principal of a school that shared with us that after the professional development and the second screening they did with the students, now she's implementing a 30 minute mental health uh, break in every class every day, which is just fantastic. Wow. So I think that the more that we start you know, using the film as a tool, which is my intention, that is, is a film to open up that conversation. By all means, I think that together we can bring that change that everybody's looking for. And the process is very simple. The process, you know, we have the website at connectingthedotsfilm.com. There's a page called host a screening. And, and just by going through the page, they'll be able to see the facilitator's guide. Uh, to have an idea of, of what to think about and then connecting with the, the, the team and, and with you being part of that facilitating and offering their the counsel from a professional side. I am very grateful that we can do this together um, because I appreciate your background, which I don't have. I, I always <laughs> say, you know, I'm a storyteller. I, I am not a professional in the mental health world, but I am objectively and respectfully bring in the stories of uh, all the young people that share it on screen. Wow. And so we just thank you so much again. Um, and we thank you all for tuning in um, and joining us today um, with Connecting the Dots. And so um, you should see the information here on the screen as well. We'll share that as well with all of the contact information in case you missed anything that she just shared. Um, but again, please share this, wherever, whatever platform you're watching it on, please share it. Um, and let's get some, some screenings scheduled. Thank you, and you all have a good day. Thank you so much.